Hey guys, what's up? I got a new camera, very exciting. Uh, my old Canon camera, the microphone on it, like had something wrong with it. So I went and bought a new one today. I'm just gonna do my makeup and chat to you. I'm just gonna use the Touch of Water. No, this is not the water cream. This is the Dewy Skin Cream. I'm gonna do some light makeup because I did self tan my face. I like wearing really light makeup these days. Okay, so what should I use? Yesterday I used the Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. I can see why people like it because it's really full coverage, but I'm too dry for that. Um, so I might just use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I wonder if vanilla will be too pale. Yeah, potentially. <laughs> might mix a little bit of light 2.75 the other one was the shade vanilla by the way even that's like more concealer than i normally do um so i'll take it on top of my eye as well i've been loving just wearing clothes like this lately like so comfy also living in a big city alone i feel a lot safer wearing less like look at me clothes do you know what i mean even though i do love to dress really glam and i still do for events and stuff but just when you're like having to walk I just did a little post on Instagram just asking what you guys want me to make, what kind of videos. And there were still a couple of people that liked tutorials, um, but it was mainly more people wanting vlogs and that sort of thing. So I figured instead of doing set tutorials, I could just include me doing my makeup in these vlogs. And then that way we can still like kind of please everyone. You know what I mean? Prefer to not powder at all, to be honest with you. So I like my skin to keep that dewiness. Like I said, I've got really dry skin, but because of my eyelashes, <laughs> I have to powder around here. Otherwise they touch my skin and I get that like the speckles from your mascara. Also, it's gone a bit darker on my like <laughs> scarring down here, my mustache area. So I'm just gonna brighten that up. Hmm. Do I use shade vanilla for this or do I use 2.5? Maybe I'll like mix them. Oh, this should be okay once I blend it out. Yeah, I don't wear foundation anymore. I just wear these. And then when I don't have fake tan on, I use like the Benefit Cream Bronzer Sticks. And that's all I do for my base. And I've been getting so many compliments too for like doing it that way. Um, and it's just so fast. Like I can get ready in 10 minutes almost. I do think that was probably a little bit light. Whoops. Oh well. It's alright. Red's used to me being pale anyway. <laughs> I haven't fake tanned actually in the longest time, but I wanted to do a try on clothing haul. I was like, what the heck, treat yourself. Also, I live by a building that's being constructed. Um, so if you can hear that, I'm very sorry for that. It's another reason why it's kind of hard to film YouTube videos. But I think vlogs, it's fine, right? Like no one really cares. This is my favorite cream bronze of the Benefit one. It is a little bit too warm for me though when I've got no tan on, so I am wondering to try the Chanel one, the one that everyone used to, whoa, they're like lifting a whole block of wood right outside my window. I'm just gonna like chuck this over my whole cheek. I know that's not really what you're meant to do, but I feel like it makes my cheekbone look good. So yeah, I'm such a cream product gal these days. Like all I really use is cream products. Um, I don't really have a choice in the matter because like, my skin's that dry. I feel like I need to put some bronzer like under my eyes because that concealer is way too pale. Oh crap, I forgot I already powdered though. That's right, if I just really like <laughs> blend it in. It actually looks a lot better. Love that for me. Cool, okay. By the way, this is from Daiso. Any of my fellow Disney fans out there? I'm getting my hair done next week. I'm so excited. So I'll definitely vlog it. It's so long now. Um, just to FYI, it looks really ratty because it's like been unbrushed and unwashed for about five days. And I feel like if you use dry shampoo by like day three, like you're okay to go five days. But I didn't, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of like in those little pieces at the front. It does, it's not like super greasy, but she's not like the freshest. But I like wearing clothes like this when my hair's ratty. Because I feel like it's very like... There's this YouTuber I watch called Blair Walnuts and she has her hair like this. It's kind of like in pieces and she's also blonde <laughs> in pieces. You know what I mean though, right? Like it's not, I used to brush my hair and do these big curls and it was very like, I don't know, housewifey vibe. Whereas this is more like, not grungy, but you know what I mean? She wears her hair like that. Kind of felt like people do wear their hair. Like, like it's not just in my head that this looks cool. Like that's the thing that people do. 
and so I've been wearing it like that more mainly just because it's so easy um, in case I get questions this top is from glue store I had to think about it because my friend asked me the other night where it was from I was like hmm where is it from but it's by the brand Thrills Co um, and I think they do a really good job of it ticks all the boxes for me I'm really fussy about like band tees like I don't want to wear something I don't listen to and get like roasted you know plus heaps of the like acid wash ones just look really cringy I feel like this looks cute like it looks like your boyfriend shirt kind of thing and I got it in a really big size so I can wear it as a dress if I want to okay cute let's do a little thing in the crease and then some mascara and then like leave <laughs> in like 10 minutes shit okay do we even need a crease color we'll just do a quick one this is that NARS palette I did a sponsorship for a little while ago it is the skin deep palette it's so good I promise guys I only actually do sponsorships for stuff I use <laughs> genuinely also I'm gonna pitch to Rachel when I see her if she can drive me in her car so I can do the ordering what the person in front of me ordered challenge because I really want to do it and you guys recommended for me to do it um, <laughs> But I don't have my own car here and I don't think an Uber driver would do it for me. So hopefully she says yes. I've been doing this every day. I just take a black eyeliner and do like a tiny flick. I mean, this isn't like a tutorial really. I just thought I'd show you whilst I get ready. Because we haven't chatted in a while. Also, a lot of you are requesting that I do like an honest Q&A. So maybe I could do one every week or just like include them in vlogs or something. Um, I'd love to know what kind of topics you have ideas for. Maybe I'll do like a dedicated post so the comments aren't like spammed with questions. So um, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. It's the easiest way to like collect answers in one spot if you know what I mean. I got the Benefit Brown Roller Liner as well which I really want to try but I haven't had the chance to yet. Like I'm not about to try it for the first time when I'm running out the door you know. Also I shouldn't be doing wings when I'm in a hurry but I'm so fast at them now because I do them pretty much every day. I think Roller Lash is still my favourite because it holds curl a lot better. I've got really thick shiny eyelashes but they're very straight so I don't care about volume actually I hate volumizing mascara because it just clumps all my eyelashes together in a bad way like it just doesn't suit me and the curling ones I do like specifically curling as long as it curls like I don't care about anything else you know also I just bought some Revive lash stay tuned I feel like my lashes are gonna look epic in like a month Okay, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little makeup. That's literally what I do pretty much. I just quickly pop on some cream blush of some kind. I'm gonna use a nude sticks one. I don't know what shade this is. Poppy Girl. There you go. Red's probably not a good choice actually because I feel like I'm just gonna look sunburnt. But like, hey. Oh! <laughs> yeah, probably don't apply blush in a hurry. <laughs> whoops oh well it's happened now <laughs> that side's so bad don't worry I'm gonna even it out I promise Get some concealer on that bad boy I mean it kind of looks cute but like it's just a little bit too much this is why I love cream products though because you can just layer them see it's fine all right let's go I'm just gonna put on some lip balm and I'm going to put my shorts back on because I'm just wearing this as a dress at the moment. Um, grab my bag and then I'll talk to you guys again very soon. The movie tonight, by the way, it's called like The Fast and Furious. But I'm not sure if it's part of the Fast and Furious franchise. Or like, is it just called that but it's about Paco Rabanne fragrance? Because I went to a Jean-Paul Gaultier one and it was just a movie about his life. So this is like hosted by a fragrance brand. I really don't know. But I'm not even going to look it up because... That doesn't really affect the outcome. Like, I'm still going either way. So I'm like, uh, may as well be a surprise. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm just going to put on some lip products and shoes and stuff and then go. You guys are literally on my door handle. But I just wanted to quickly show you my outfit. So I added some denim shorts with this. I've just, like, tucked them in. I don't really know how to... I feel like it's so hard to tuck in something cool. Like, you really have to catch it on the right angle. Like, I tucked it so cool the other day, and now I'm like, uh. I mean, I guess that looks alright. Am I not tucking it enough, maybe? Yeah, I think that looks better, doesn't it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, these are just from Topshop, and they're so comfy. 
I don't know if they're sh a bit short for me though. But it's so hard to find denim shorts that are like the right length. These boots on that my mum actually had ages ago and I've gotten them like resold and stuff. Well she did, I didn't. Um, but yeah, they're just like her OG boots from ages ago and she just let me have them. So cheers mum for that. Um, I've got my new status anxiety bag. Got this from their event the other night. They were super generous and gifted me it. I love it. I feel like it's perfect for this vibe. It's got my passport, my card, my phone, my keys. Oh, I need my camera, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's the look. This necklace here, I always get asked about. It's from the markets in Sydney, so I don't know. But I saw my friend Ruby Galani. She has a brand called The Jewelry Society, and they sell really similar ones. But it's just like a Scorpio necklace, and it's got the M on the back, which is like the symbol. Scorpio you'd think my name started with M <laughs> that's why I don't wear it that way I wear the like the Scorpio side this one I again got from the market it's just like a freshwater pearl and I think they look really cute stacked these are just a couple of crystal bracelets got my elbows orange actually it's not that bad I think it's just the lighting this one's rose quartz and this one is rhodonite I want to say I can't remember but I don't like buy them for the specific name that's just if I like them I get them you know and then for my makeup I just did really basic. I mean, you guys saw it. I think I covered up how the tan was kind of blotchy and I look, you know, fresh. So that's the main thing and kind of dewy. I did powder like around here, but then the rest I left glowy. vlogging camera today what do you think really uh-huh you're a new vlogging camera yeah i wow. know what you're thinking rachel knows i'm poor at the moment <laughs> well well i mean if you could enlighten me on how you checked my new zealand account because my ad sense gets paid into the new zealand anz account i have oh. i had like just enough to buy this camera because my other one broke <gasps> My G7X, like the audio doesn't work on it, yeah. So yeah. I went and bought this from JB Hi-Fi today. Yeah. And the guy was really nice. He gave me like a sale price. Oh, JB Hi-Fi are Couple really good years with warranty their. for free. I love like, that. Thanks, man. JB Hi-Fi are great like that. Yeah. You have a very loyal JB Hi-Fi man. Oh, <laughs> do you? Yeah, I was lucky that I was kind of like glad I got a guy because I feel like he's being extra nicey. Yeah. Because I had my teddy bear backpack on. He's probably like Stop. this dumb bitch. Like she does not it was know what she's like doing. Probably like she's 15. Yeah, literally. We go get some hoodies and then oh, yeah. if you want to get Italian food we can definitely get Italian <laughs> I mean I don't mind. I just as happen to know snacks. a pasta place that's like right up the road. It's pretty it's not Ferrelli's. What's it called? No, it's not Fratelli it's, it's, it's called the Italian Bowl. I think it's called the Italian Bowl. But it's like super close to the store we're going to. Yeah, I was gonna say about us getting the hoodies, but I wasn't sure if your brand was like secret, so I didn't say. Anything. Oh, this is for something else, so. Oh, it is. Talk about it. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, even then, Rachel's also yeah. making a clothing brand. <laughs> yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Um, um it's for Moo Moo. The makeup mix. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know. The makeup mix. Oh right, up, I that's... know what the makeup mix yeah, yeah, is. Yeah, I just didn't know the acronym. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we call I thought it you meant like how Homer Simpson has a moo moo in the episode. What's a moo? What? Like, you know those big dresses. The only thing about this camera is it's so close. Like, I'm literally holding it a whole arm's length away, and it's like, so zoomed oh, in. Oh, you've got longish arms as well. So I think I'm gonna use my like selfie stick thing for it. That's a great idea. We're getting some gnocchi before the event, just in case they don't feed us, because you never know if they will or not. that I'm wearing today. Shan was telling me that now 
got literally two seconds of music getting copyrighted like in the background of a shot. Yeah, isn't that wild? So I probably shouldn't have vlogged that much in here, which is a shame, but... and bought myself a frozen coke <laughs> because I'm 12 and I need frozen coke at the movie. Goodie bag, which will open with you guys once we get home. Popcorn, popcorn. Sorry, sorry. And you have a little sample in your gift bags. So please enjoy the, uh, the fragrance. Thank you very much. Resume position. <laughs> got the movie, what do you think? I don't think they can see me at all. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I was worried about your air fresheners. Yeah. Look at Rachel's air fresheners. I'll show them. They're cool. The biggie. Got biggie. With Snoop. The oh. one that smells like a five year old. Did Snoop come off? off? No, he's here. Oh, he's up, he's up the top. Oh, he's got, yeah. Okay, hit us with the movie review. SJ? Okay, so to clarify, it was the newest Fast and Furious. It wasn't like a Paco Rabanne movie, so I wasn't sure. Oh, did you say that? <laughs> yeah, it was like, I already know it is. I mean, I might have been able to confirm I reckon, that for you. Like, the first two thirds of the movie were quite unengaging, don't you think? But then the last third was so good. I have not watched Fast and the Furious since the third movie tokyo yeah. drift yeah so you're even i think i've seen up to like six i was like where's vin diesel <laughs> why is he I no know. longer in where's it where's paul walker oh, forget that really happy excuse oh, me oh we're basically in the Someone movie with the small... i reckon some of those actors were definitely moldy like for sure and they did a haka it was so yeah cool. i like that too it was very yeah. cool yeah they had their like tribal weapons it was great but it was the... actually kind of funny like some parts in it were funny yeah um ryan reynolds Oh my god, funny. I love Ryan. Reynolds. I did not think and he was Kevin in Hart. it. And Kevin Hart I was randomly in it. I wish yeah. they went in for longer because they were like the comic really. They're really funny. I met random really hot girl. She was such a babe. Oh yeah. Oh, they've got it. Yeah, I feel like everyone should have gone in that. longer too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like the movie? Yeah, it just was not what I was expecting. Also, the Paco Rabanne ad was really good. Oh, it was. That yeah, was really I wanted cool. to vlog it, but I wasn't sure if I was allowed to. Probably not. But, but I'm sure it's the YouTube highest, level. what would you say, most expensive, not the highest grossing, most expensive <laughs> advert. Yeah, I think so. For fragrance? Yeah, ever was made. It? Yeah. It's like they hired out a desert for like two weeks or I something. Think that's what he we said, were talking yeah. to the general manager, and that's what he told us. Um, you guys will probably see it on TV, but anyway, I'll show you what I got in the goodie bag quickly. I Minis. haven't even smelled the women's one yet. You guys know I love minis. Okay, you can smell that. Okay, thanks. I'm... Actually, the GM said that these are all unisex. Actually, yeah. I think he was also saying like all fragrances all are of them. unisex. But like yeah. Lady Million sounds like not something a guy true. probably might want to wear. Yeah, that's true. But I like I wear like men's fragrances all the time. Rach does, but she can pull it off. I feel like I love them. it doesn't wear so well on me. It's all about that BDE. Oh yeah, she's <laughs> totally totally got that BDE and I love that for her. Um, so this is the like, obviously marketed for male one, but you could wear it. You know. So the campaign was like a little trophy. Well, it wasn't little, it was this huge guy with his abs <laughs> out. That I may have given a sly kiss to. Yeah, do you want to unbox so that one and I'll smell that one? Okay. Even though I've already. I haven't it. even smelt that one yet. Oh. Okay. Wait. And wait. then this oh, is. Yes, oh no! Sorry. So they're both called Legend. So this one's Olympia, and that one's Invictus. Invictus. This is Olympia. Oh, that's really nice. Face detecting your face. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Oh, the little pop top that's ones. really sexy. Does anyone else get really stressed with the pop tops? Because no. you like really have to put in a lot of effort and then it's like boop <sighs> and you just get it all over your fingers. <gasps> this one's so cute. This smells really Quite good. Roman gladiator vibes with this one, don't you think? I mean, Olympia, that sounds like a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because the, the campaign was in the desert, like it kind of... I didn't get those Roman vibes, but it's obviously based off that. It smells okay. sexy. It's like a little nail polish. Sexy. Sounds sexy. very Aussie. Sexy. Oh, that's honestly nice, like, right? Turns me on a little bit. <laughs> I don't think you should wear this because I'll get a crush on you. I love, <laughs> love the it. excess one they make, and it's got the snake on the bottle. I don't think I've smelt that, but I used to wear Lady it's Million. My house. You should really? smell it. All my early twenties, I wore Lady Million. My early twenties. Well, you you I'm a late twenties girl. Now. I know, but like 
You're not old enough to be like back in my early 20s. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I also loved One Million as well, though. I used to wear like, like Britney Spears fantasy yeah. and Curious. <laughs> <laughs> Those were like and parachute, though. Things? If you're from New Zealand, don't pretend you didn't hit up farmers for that. No, I never wore Paris Hilton's. Did you? No. Oh, I had friends that wore that. Mm. People used to wear Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, J Lo's one. Oh yeah, J Lo. Had Midnight Fantasy, Fantasy, Curious. How do you remember all those names? I used to work in fragrance. I love fragrance. Mm -hmm. Fragrances. My first fragrance was the original Marc Jacobs. <laughs> oh. And it was when I worked before for they did Daisy and stuff. Before they did Daisy. I don't know. If and I did it. Actually, was it before? I don't know if it was before, but it was like their original one. Mm -hmm. And I saved up for it and I worked at Maya. And then I went to buy it and I was like 15. Aww. And the lady said it was like an older lady's fragrance. Oh. But I loved it. I Shut still love it. Helen. That. <laughs> so judgmental. I still love that fragrance so much and you can't get it. Oh but it no, kind of smells a little bit like Daisy. It yeah. happened to me. Well, my first fragrance I loved was Harajuku Lovers by Gwen Stefani. It was one oh they had gosh, the big girls on them. Yeah. And I loved, I think it was called Baby. She had like pink fleecy hair, but it smelled kind of kelky. And I mm. loved it so much so that my friend and my mum both got it for me for my birthday one year. Because I was like, loved <laughs> so you were it that stocked much. up? Yeah, like, the bottle was a little much, but it smelled so good. But yeah, then I had to stop wearing it because they stopped making it because it's a celebrity fragrance. stuff. Oh, de parfums. So very strong. Good longevity. You know? Longevity. Good for traveling, those little ones. I love that. Oh, yeah. Let's... And the. Oh, so this is. Oh, there he is. Babe. What a babe. They're both babes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like a nipple moment that dress out. You can see a little bit there. <laughs> oh, love that for her. Honestly, there's the leaflet. Two very attractive people. <laughs> I was reading, reading the back and speaking. I thought it would have the price on here, but it doesn't. Anyway, it's available at Maya and David Jones. If anyone's interested, not, not sponsored, but just in case you're wondering. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored, but should be. It makes so many sales. <laughs> For them, JK. <laughs> I pitched to Rach my concept of us oh, yeah. ordering what the person in front of us gets. I'm totally and she's keen. on board. I'm Yay. totally keen. Yay for friends of cars. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. It was pitched to me because I have a car. Yeah, I don't think an Uber driver would do that for me. That Should like we start car. now? Oh, <gasps> where's the closest Mac? Yeah, there's one not that far. Should we? Okay, maybe we'll go film that video now then. <laughs> Should we? Okay. I mean, we could start it. I mean, if you're down. Okay. Will the lighting be really dark though to film it? I guess we still could. We'll see how this camera goes. Okay. Okay. If not, we'll just get a chai latte. City that's looking fun. And I know this is my town now. put some more clothes on. <laughs> just like in my at home bralette and comfy cotton on shorts. These are prints that I ordered and I'm just so excited. One of them's literally a llama sitting in a field. So I'm going to put them in the frames now um, so I can shoot the content on Monday. Or I could even do it tomorrow I guess. Yeah that's the company. If you guys follow me on Instagram you'll see them. <gasps> oh they're so gorgeous. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put this vlog up today and I'll put these in the frames maybe tomorrow. So you guys should leave a comment and let me know which two I should frame. We're matching apricots. Mountains of New Zealand. Gorgeous. And then somewhere else I would love to go, which is Tuscany. You can't really see because they're curled up. And I've also got <laughs> this one, which I'm going to send a photo of it to Shannon. Because I think she's going to die. <laughs> Literally so cute. Kind of reminds me of Queenstown. I don't know, it just looks like the South Island, don't you reckon? And obviously the llama is super cute. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here since Rach and I filmed that car challenge and I wanna upload that ASAP. But I feel like this vlog kinda needs to come first. Yeah, I'll leave you guys with my beautiful sunset from my window. And with that being said, <laughs> have a great day and I'll see you soon.